If only it were that simple. Mm -hmm. So we do have hormones that are available for treatment. I think most people are familiar with the term hormone replacement therapy or HRT. And that option has a strangely tortured history where in the 1940s, um, estrogen therapy was actually the number one best-selling drug in America and many other parts of the world. And most women going through menopause in the 50s and 60s and 70s and whatnot were put on hormones and left on hormones, high doses of hormones for life. And the idea back then is that these hormones would not only reduce the half flashes and make menopause better and more tolerable or just gentler, but would also protect against things like heart disease and dementia. And then in the 90s, the government intervened and said, well, you can't just do hormones to women without doing clinical trials first, even though that was the practice for 30 years, right? And so they launched the largest clinical trial in history, looking at HRT for relief of heart flashes, but also for prevention of heart disease and dementia. And that was in 1993. And the study was running and it was suddenly stopped in 2002, because what they found is that hormone therapy was actually doing a lot of damage to some of the women in the study. And what the media reported is that the hormone therapy in particular was increasing the risk of breast cancer while also increasing the risk of heart disease and dementia. And everyone panicked and so many women just stopped taking hormones overnight. That also obviously kicked off a lot of lawsuits and effectively stopped research on hormones for menopause and prevention of chronic diseases. 